been a while since I've done um, been a while since I've done a walk on intro. I might do that. I might do that. Yeah. Fuck it. Dyson Hoover. Dyson Hoover. Whoa. What's up, guys? What's what's crack a lacking? It's your boy Ryan from Ryan's Corner here, back again with another video. Right, guys, it's been a while. Um, I just got home from work, and I was like, I'm gonna sit down, unwind. Chill with the, the Dyson Hooveners. I want you all to just grab your, your teas, your coffees, whatever you might be doing. Maybe a bicky, maybe a cheeky cake or something, you know yourself. Chill out, and we're going to do some Lego time here, guys, you know. That's what it is. Just chill vibes in this channel, guys. Chill vibes. Oh, I don't even have me tea, actually. I don't know what I'm on about. Thanks for tuning into the Wednesday video there, guys, where I reviewed the, the tulips there. I know um, it was going to be for everyone reviewing flowers but uh, hey guys it could be worse it could have been that that one i did last week where i reviewed the fucking that carnage and the venom helmet review thing i did the i, think I competed them against each other what the fuck was that it like you know it could have been that it could have been that bad guys anyway guys hopefully this episode is a little bit more exciting anyway on today's episode we've got bear with me we've got bang here it is guys it's the lego star wars 501st battle pack insanely popular set guys and i finally picked it up there i got it in my lego hall 2 there that i did for may is it may i did it in i can't remember i've been super excited to get this set in my hands guys and i finally have it we're gonna do a review now guys i am buzzing super super excited for this set anyway guys without further ado So here it is guys, it's set number 75280, it's technically called the 501st Legion Clone Troopers thing or some shit, but it's the 501st Battle Pack, that's what everyone knows it as, it's it's a battle pack, you know. Basically guys, a lot of LEGO Star Wars fans wanted a set like this as a kind of cheaper alternative to kind of build up their Clone Trooper army, they wanted a set that came with a few Clone Troopers, and they kind of protested and, you know, showed their interest in getting a set like this for... A couple of years and then lego finally caved in and we're like okay there you go guys there it is and what's really funny about this on lego's part is the fact that all the other battle packs are like 15 euros and then this one was suddenly 30 euros so lego are fucking cheeky man fair play i cannot well done lego well done that is clever fair play lego well done I, a lot of people are pissed off at lego for that i just think fucking fair play to them respect i respect lego for that that's funny completely taking advantage of their customers guys well done lego you you get one from me today yeah guys this set cost me 30 euros it's sevens plus um what more can i say it comes with two bills guys it comes with the speeder here and the ar what's it called here? the rtat i think it's called guys i think that's what it is it also comes with a collection of six minifigures guys three clone troopers one clone trooper jetpack guy and then two battle droids. This set is also from 2020, guys, which is why it kind of has this white kind of uh, design around the top that they haven't actually changed yet in 2021. I'd like to see some kind of new box art from LEGO Star Wars. The overall bottle here that they're depicting is actually pretty cool, guys. You can kind of see the trees in the back. You can see the clown troopers shooting the droids and stuff. It, 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 it looks like a, a lot of fun. Around the top there, guys, nothing much there. Just the fucking jetpack guy. And at the side, guys, woohoo, side box art from LEGO Star Wars. That's nice. That's something that they've just kind of neglected in 2021 and around the back there guys you can kind of see a, a better look at the atrt and then some of the other clone troopers and it also shows where the stud shooters are and the fucking cockpit or whatever you know you know yourself anyway guys without further ado we're gonna jump in and we're gonna unbox this thing what's up guys hope you're having a good day hope you are uh chill loving the videos lately hope you are hope you are liking the videos when you tune in Um, i have a few more sets i want to get out uh, i have a lot of big sets to get through uh, let me know which ones you want to see first. I'll try and prioritize them. It's just getting the time really to kind of sit down and spend four or five hours, you know, doing a build. It's a pain in the ass. Anyway, there we go. Throw them off to the side there. Only two bags of Lego, guys. This doesn't seem like a lot. Is instructions, guys, and we also got some fucking stickers. Sorry, guys. I forgot that um, it's supposed to be chill vibes here. On, on Ryan's corner. Sorry about that. It's Nuka's aid break. Here's the instructions, guys. Same cover as the box. Super cute, super small here. Let's see how many steps this guys. 64 for the ART or fucking whatever it's called. I don't know. I don't know how many steps are after this. It also has a picture of all the sets here from 2020. Some more around the back there, guys. Uh, yeah, I think I have most of these. I think I have most of these at this stage. Yeah, some of them I'm missing. Some of them I probably won't get around to. Anyway, especially that General Grievous ship. Why, why is that 80 euro? 
like, and Lego still have brought that down in any way. Three minifigures for the shit ship for 80 fucking euros. What were they thinking? Anyway, guys, without further ado, I've been messing a lot in this episode. Um, we're going to jump in and we're going to build this thing. I don't know what music I'm going to use, guys. Some fucking hip-hop beats that I found on, on Star Wars. I don't know. Cue the time lapse. And there you have it guys, there's the Lego Star Wars 501st Battle Pack all finished there now and holy shit what a fucking set. This could be one of Lego Star Wars greatest ever set, it is absolutely sensational. I think the builds are really strong, I think the minifigures you get are great, couple of issues here and there but overall guys this is a pretty solid, pretty cheap way to get your clone troopers to build up your army. Really really nice set here by Lego that they're going with here guys, the fans were dead right to get this set made. Anyway guys without further ado let's jump into a proper little in-depth review of this set. Starting off with the minifigures here guys, we have one of the battle droids here. Not much to say about this guy, he's a pretty solid droid, it's the first time I've gotten him in my collection but he's nothing new to Lego Star Wars, he's been around for a long long time. Basic colour the whole way throughout, that kind of sand kind of colour. He's pretty flimsy though, you can kind of bend him a lot of ways and stuff. He also has the kind of curved arm here and the straight arm here which he, he uses for his blaster. People are going to be mainly getting this set for the clone troopers but it is nice the way you can kind of get these guys as well. Uh, to kind of collect a, a droid army if you'd like as well. It is a battle pack to be fair, so they kind of have to have the clone troopers battling something. So this kind of makes sense to have these guys in here. And you do get two of them as well, guys. So it is nice to get these. It's a cheap way to get battle droids if you do want to collect these up. Anyway, moving on to the next guy. Next up here, guys, we have the clone trooper or the main reason that people will be buying this set. I think the design they've gone with this clone trooper is really good. I'm really happy with how it turned out. This is my first clone trooper I've gotten, but I know what clone troopers have looked like in the past. And I think this is a really, really solid looking minifigure. They made a couple of changes to the Clone Trooper over the last couple of years and um, a lot of people don't like it but uh, I kind of secretly do. Basically the last Clone Trooper we've gotten had blue arms. I kind of prefer the white arms. I think it kind of looks cleaner. It looks more accurate to the show. The show they had kind of like blue and white. So I think the white is, is looking really good. They also changed the waist here guys. The old Clone Trooper used to have a black waist and they've gone with this kind of white design. Which I do prefer. I do think the white does look better but I wish it was in some way printed. I don't like the way it's just completely white. If I had to carry down way into the legs or, you know, matched up with the torso, that would have looked a lot cooler. The rest of the torso is really good, guys. The detailing that they've got going on here is really good. I, re I like the use of the blue as well. And the, the print that they've got here is really, really great. Uh, the legs as well, really, really good to see. The way they have kind of like the slightly jewel molded. It's designed, but they have kind of like, you can see where it's separated. And also the toe printing, guys. Uh, pretty rare within sets guys especially Star Wars sets so that's always great to see and around the back there guys you can kind of see a basic almost like the Stormtrooper back there a uh, really really nice clean finish to the back there guys really nice detailing done here the printing on these guys is really really good of course guys we have the iconic Clone Trooper helmet which looks fantastic I really love the grey that they have going on here guys showing a bit of depth in it like a shadow into the into the helmet guys which the old version did not have so that's a really really good upgrade here I think that looks a lot better than the old one just the grills that they have going on here guys these little pieces is here it's just an exceptional looking helmet i really really love the clone trooper helmet and of course the blue design that they have going on down the front there guys for the 501st legion is really great to see lifted off the helmet here guys and you can see the the clone trooper's face it's an upgrade definitely from the last clone trooper head that we've gotten i really like the use of the tan color as well there guys uh, fitting in a lot better with the kind of skin tone that Django fair has guys which is like what all the clone troopers are based off so i'm really happy that they've gone with this head as opposed to the old one it just looks a lot better for Django fett 
and uh, all the other clone troopers have the exact same head. And also, guys, this pack does come with three of them. So you get three of them. The only difference between these three is this guy's gun here, which is actually a really, really nice gun. I think it's like a sniper. It's a really, really nice sniper. It's basically just a sniper here with this, like, piece here at the bottom. Um, I've seen it been used a few times, but this is the first time I've seen it been used on a gun. And it, it works really, really well, guys. I think it looks really great. And to round off the minifigures here, guys, we have the 501st Jet Trooper and wow this guy looks really really good i was just talking about the arms guys and this guy does come with the blue arms which i'm really really happy about this guy looks really good chest printing is pretty similar guys but he has a bit more blue at the top here and their legs are basically the same toe printing as well really really good detailing here a few changes done to the helmet there guys a bit more red the red lines and all is really really good attention to detail there with the printing a bit more blue here especially around the side it's just a really really great upgrade on the helmet that we've already seen just shows a bit of variation in the build my only issue really with this minifigure guys is i just think his neck looks really long with this jetpack piece i don't know about you what does that look like to you guys i think his head just kind of juts out a bit too much but uh Asher, sure that's the price you pay with, with Lego, you know? And then he also comes with this jetpack piece, guys, which I think works really well. We've seen it a few times before in, like, white and black and stuff, so it's nice to get it in blue. I think the blue works really well with the rest of this minifigure. And also underneath, guys, we also have the basic clone trooper head that we're getting now. I hope they continue this in the future. I think it just looks a lot better if it's going to be fitting for Django Fett. And here, guys, moving on to the builds themselves. And here we have it, guys. Here's the first build here. We have the 5 for a speeder. Um, it's a really, really nice speeder, guys. Nice and clean, nice and sleek. Not too complicated the build i really like the way they have this kind of arch in here this works really well if we take a look at the front of it here guys i really like this arch piece that we have going on here and the way it works down into this point here this piece is really really nice actually i really like the look of that couple of stud shooters at the side guys which um, i'm not usually crazy about but i think they work well here i think it actually looks okay on the build it's not too you know it distracting it doesn't take away from the look of the build and you could easily take them off if you wanted to so i'm just gonna fire one there you know just there you go boys knock yourselves out there you have these kind of fin things at the side there guys and um, which is an unusual way to see these being displayed but i think it works well you got a bit of a sticker here at the front which isn't too important but uh, i always just try and use all the stickers that i can and then you have the cockpit here guys and um, i think it's a really nice looking seat i'm really impressed with the build they've gone with the seat here i think it looks nice and um all these handlebars as well look really cool i think it looks pretty good there guys i think it looks nice in there i think it looks snug i think it's pretty in scale with the minifigure and um, it isn't too big or too small i think it works really well so i'm happy that when they get these kind of speeders down like this around the back here guys we have some more stickers here this piece here and here and around the side here just be careful when you're putting these on guys i didn't match them up the best but they look okay and at the back here guys i really like the way this kind of slopes down here i like that effect that looks really nice and here we have also some nice storage to put these kind of rifles this is a nice thing to see and um, i like the way it's connected here it works well and i have to say guys i'm really happy with how this speeder turned out and last but not least guys we have the atrt and i think this is a really really nice looking build super small super compact and um, i like the detail that they've gone with here within such a small piece count i think it works really well i think the designers of this set did a great job trying to incorporate as much as they could into such a small piece count to try and keep the price down i think it looks really good feet look really nice guys you have this shiny pointy piece here and nice curvature in the feet nice design in the legs here guys they do bend a bit you get a bit of articulation you can kind of pose them a couple of ways if you wanted to stick it there at the side guys which is actually in the wrong place and um, because i put them on wrong i did the legs the other way around and then i was i was kind of stuck with the sticker in that place but uh fuck I, I made it work the best i could nice design here done to the side and uh, i really like these kind of wheels that they have going on here i think they look really cool the gray and the blue work really well i like the antennas on the back guys they look really good and pretty accurate to the show at the front guys i know this is gonna piss a lot of people off but this like big obnoxious uh stud shooter here at the front actually doesn't annoy me as much as i thought it was going to do it kind of works well and it's integrated well into the build i was expecting some kind of cannon there anyway so i'm glad that it does come with some functionality then if they are going to put it there i think it looks okay of course i'd probably prefer nothing there but if they are going to do it this stud shooter does make sense a lot of stickers here at the front here guys but i think it looks really good i like the design that they've gone with here it's a really really good choice a couple of 501 first insignias here guys and kind of some dents and stuff done to to show that it's been damaged or it's been in battle and in the cockpit here guys pretty standard handlebars here printed piece here which is always good to see it's the only printed element into this whole set and around the back here guys we also have storage for binoculars here and one of the clone troopers guns if you want to put them in the cockpit i like to see that around the back there guys when they kind of hide the guns away instead of had them on the side or on the front so that's always nice to see and there you can see one of the clone troopers sitting there guys works really well in terms of scale to the minifigure i think it looks really really good also guys there's something in this cockpit that absolutely blew me away this isn't something that i spotted myself i've seen it in a couple of other reviews uh, of this set and um, but it's the fact that if you take the clone trooper out hold on i'm gonna do my best here you could just pull him out 
and the handlebars will just stay there. Yeah, guys, the handlebars will just stay there. I think that's absolutely fantastic. How many times over the years have we like had this problem where we take minifigures out and the handlebars will come with it and you have to reattach it or it might break some bricks and stuff. The fact that I just yanked him off there and he just stayed there is absolutely fantastic to see. I'm really, really happy that they've kind of ironed out this flaw. It's only something small, something that I never even thought would be fixed or something that I didn't think was actually a problem up until now, the designer has kind of ironed out. So. I want to see this technique being used in the future. I'm really, really happy that they've included that little fix. And there you have it, guys. That was my um, in-depth review of the LEGO Star Wars 501st Battle Pack. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments below. Overall, guys, I'm blown away by this set, guys. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. It's it's pretty flawless, to be honest. Um, it's probably one of LEGO Star Wars best ever sets, in a way, to get these minifigures. And you get two pretty solid bills there for 30 euros. Like, it's... You can't really go wrong. There's not really much of a negative to this set. It's a really, really, really good valued set. So yeah, guys, I'm probably going to have to rate this guy a 9 out of 10. Probably, possibly a 10. I'm going to say a 9 for now. Um, it's one of my favorites in my whole collection, guys. I'd highly recommend this set. Yeah, guys, pretty fun build. Really rewarding build to see the two kind of vehicles that you get. The minifigures are great. Uh, really, really good valued set. So there's not really much of a negative to this, guys. Pretty flawless. So I'm going to stick with it, guys. 9 out of 10. And there you go, guys. There's the final look of the 501st Battle Pack there. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. I did the vote on Twitter to see if you guys wanted to vote for this one or the AAT. Don't worry, I'm still going to get around to that. Uh, it might be next week or the week after. I'm not too sure. I'll get around to that because I do want to open that one up. It comes with a little Ahsoka minifigure. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Ryan's Corner. Let me know what else you want to see in the future. You are the best. Thanks for subscribing, liking, sharing with all your friends. And I'll use it the best. Dyson Hooveners for life, bros. Thanks very much. Thanks guys for tuning in. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Stay safe out there.